and we are back. Today's not going to be classic. We have 60 second turn timer, expert AI, progressive cards, bounce, blitz dice, no alliances, no fog, no portals, but we do have blizzards. We're the white player in the first position. Our rival in this 1v1 is going to be the blue player in the fourth position. He's going to have an Australia play. This is a one or two hold for Africa, one hold for South America because of this Brazil blizzard. I think we go hardcore for SA. He's blue. He's probably going to get minced here. All right, I have a card. I think I take my card and uber plump this. But then the seven might hit me. Let me roll this. All right. We get rid of my troops here so that green can take Europe and give uh, be a problem for blue. So I, we eliminate both myself and blue. I did lose a couple of troops, but that was a risky roll anyway. But that way green didn't put on the four and just slam my five accidentally. So now we've got a 10 in SA, which is now going to mirror Australia. Blue player is going to be General Bravebeard. Good luck, buddy. Good. Look at that green with a turn one Europe. Unreal. So now if blue is anywhere near this, he's going to get absolutely shish kebobbed. Which is really good. Making red and black potentially go over here. Black goes for Africa. Okay. So blue's going to lose this. Okay, not too not too bad of a, a first turn here. We might lose my five, but I should be able to get South America next turn. Let's see what uh, red and blue do here. Okay, blue probably goes Australia, I think. And then he has a bunch of troops he can reel in from Asia. Or does he try to fight me here? I don't know. That red seven is probably going to do a lot of damage. We might also see red go into Australia. I'm not 100% sure what red's going to do. Okay. Hmm. We got two twos here. They're both going to die. This two is going to die. We might be able to save this five. It looks like he actually might roll it. No, he get, takes out my two. That's fine. The bots are going to eat these anyway. So I'd actually rather him hit them. Absolutely, I will take that. I will take that. The bots were 100% going to eat those for breakfast. So I'd much rather him hit those. All right. Oh, he breaks the bot. He rolls a 4v3 on the bot. Wow. Okay, maybe red puts in and eats him in Oz? No, red puts here and is going to roll. Okay. Is it going to roll all the way past me and then I just take it easily or... I wouldn't mind that. Don't hit this, okay? Can you go pop, pop? Can you do a little pop, pop sesh, please? No way. It leaves the seven? And then post up on my five? That's so dumb. <laughs> that is really cringe, actually. Alright, I don't think you I think he would roll this instead. Alright, we get god dice. Um, uh, I still want to give that red seven a chance to roll out, right? Um, uh, I need this seven to get out of my bonus. That is unfortunate. This is why it's so paramount to kill the bots ASAP. Like, even if you lose a lot of troops, it might be better to just go for it so the bots can't put in more. Um, blue does lose that, though, which is good. We have seven more troops than blue right now. Okay, that might be bad. I'm glad I got good dice there, so blue couldn't capitalize on it. And Europe is then taken again by the green bot. Black puts in here, is going to roll my two or break green. I could have rolled this out to make it easier on black, but there's no reason because these two bots are just going to keep hitting each other, I think. He does lose another one. Blue is running out of spaces, though. This is good. I need red to roll this out, and I need red to get off of my eight. That's what I really need here. Um, but blue is probably going to get picked off here and here, which is really good. He probably puts here and tries to salvage Australia. Yeah, if he can get Australia, he might be able to crawl back in. But right now, we're in a good spot. Depending on red, though, red is a real thorn in my side. 
All right, does he roll the 6v4? He does! This guy! This guy is fearless! Rolls the 4v3. Finally, his luck runs out. And now he's reeling. 11 troops to his name. This guy is a renegade. An absolute renegade. I need red to put in elsewhere. Okay, oh my god. It is obsessed with my 8. It is obsessed with my 8. All right, it's going to break green. That is unfortunate. And it's not going to roll the seven out either. That is uncanny. Okay, but now my eight is alleviated a little bit. It doesn't have a six on its border unless it fortifies onto me. It does fortify onto me, okay? But the eight should still be safe. So I'm going to give up SA because I'm not going to hit a seven. And we're just going to post up on Mr. Blueberry. I really wanted SA, but um, the bot said no. So we have to uh, <laughs> we have to comply with the bot's demands here. We are almost triple blues troops here, though. So this is going really well. I mean, the bots can push you around, but as long as you beat your opponent, you are good to go in these 1v1s. You are good to go. Let's just keep the pressure up. I did lose one in between recordings. Um, I got stuck on cards. I didn't get a set on three or four, and I ended up getting killed on five. It was rather embarrassing. It was a painful watch, so I did not even upload that one. So this is going to be the game after that. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay. I like it. All right, black just plumping out here. Blue is down to a one, a three, and another three. He is in a tough spot. He is in a tough spot. I mean, I think he still goes Australia. He still has a chance if he can lock it down. Okay, 6v3. Oh, he's slow rolling. Still like a 90% chance. Give or take, he loses two. Absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. 3v2 is like a 30% chance. It's not good. It is not good. Oh, and he fails the slow roll. I think that's game, boys. I think that is game. He doesn't get a card. I think he's just going to bot out. That is brutality. But Red continues to post up on my A. Red is obsessed with Alaska. Red is absolutely obsessed with Alaska. All right. I might just feed Blue to the bot. Well, if it unlocks me here, I might actually pop, pop, pop. Yeah. I might just take all of this, actually. Blue doesn't even have a set to contest. Um, my 8 is still pretty safe. I'm going to take this for myself. I'm going to take this. Oh, we get really good dice. We get really good dice, and I think my 9 is safe there. I think that's game, boys. I think that is game. Green might actually even feed blue to us. Alright, Blue is still here though, man. He is undeterred, he is unfazed. He's like, get rid of my troops, but you can't get rid of my courage. Okay. Black still has Africa, getting plus three and sets. Good God. Oh, Black kills Blue. Black kills Blue, so it's going to be us against the bots. Us against the bots. I'm... I don't know if this win will bring me back to Grandmaster, but it's going to be incredibly close. I was like 500 away, but you lose a whole lot more than you win in these 1v1 scenarios. Black did not kill Blue, so either Red kills Blue or we do. We do it ourselves. And then we're going to be looking at a two-guard North America here between Greenland and Alaska. Pop, pop, and that's going to be for plus seven in a lot of territory. Mm. yeah i mean if i'm blue it's over like there's nothing you can do you can't get a kill on a bot you can't slow roll me down you can't blitz me and get a god roll like, it doesn't really matter at this point i don't think it matters i mean i guess just sue into me for fun to see how much you can get off of my nine but that's about it that's about all you got you just go out with a blaze of glory but it looks like he's going to bot out here, and that'll put six troops down for red. If red sets, uh, blue dies. If red doesn't set, I don't think blue will actually die. 
I don't think Blue will actually die. There's the bot out. All right, what does Red do? Red post up on my eight. We should have known this. We should have known this. There's an, uh, <laughs> there's a magnetic force in Alaska right now. All right, rolls out black. So we kill blue and set. We can't quite get to green, it doesn't look like. I think we just try to go hammer bammer. All right, we're gonna set anyway. So we might as well set first, I think. Yeah, I think we just get rid of everything here. If I get bad dice on that seven, that could be an issue. We lose four. Um, Black can't actually set though, but he can use the Africa. Let's see. Okay, really good dice there. Lose seven. Get a bunch of territory. Get a whole bunch of territory. And we're just going to put up a little buffer guard. We now have to set on four? Yes, we do. Okay, green sets. All right, black has no precedence on us now. Our seven is open to the world. This is going to take a moment, but if red doesn't set, we can actually kill red here. But on four cards, the bot usually sets. Okay, black gets broken by green. We take that. We take that, but this is a perfect example of, like, blizzards. Like, this Brazil blizzard, or actually, no, this isn't Brazil. This is um, North Africa. The North Africa blizzard opens up for Brazil, and then vice versa. If the Brazil blizzard is here, then Africa gets choked off. Very impactful blizzards. Okay, this one doesn't really do much. This one doesn't really do much. But usually every game, there's going to be at least one choky blizzard. There are some games where there's not. But here's Red. Red does set, and he sets next to me. He's going to nuke me. He's going to absolutely nuke me here. So no bots are on sets now. So right now we're going to try to buffer Red and try to get him out of our bonus. He doesn't actually roll my big stack, though. That's good. Man, Red is obsessed with this portion of the map, this game. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. All right, green's going to be the next best kill. We're just going to go ahead and set and try to remove red, I think. Okay, where do we want to end up? Where do we want to end up here? Just kind of go. Oh, good dice. Good dice. All right. Red can't set. It might roll a 4v3, but I think that's a viable hold right there. I think that is a pretty viable hold. This could only become a six. This could become a four, but this actually probably gets removed. And black doesn't have Africa, so I think we really just set ourselves up for success. Um, green might potentially get fed to us here, or red. Red actually might be a viable kill if someone can bop this. And then if red, if red rolls these bigger numbers, or black rolls red, that would be incredibly helpful for the cause. Because all we need is one kill at this point, and we can chain the win, I think. Okay, we don't have to put any more troops there. Red is stuck in the top right, and then red will probably roll black here. So we should we should be able to chain this for the win, get a little fade away. Okay, we got green here and here. Red stuck here. He's going to post up on my 11, even in death. He would not go quietly, rolls the two, loses everything, wins, loses everything. That's perfect. That could not have gone better for us gets a card and loses all of his troops that is going to be a red kill into potentially a green and black kill let's do it let's do it we want good dice good dice only lose one that's phenomenal we'll go up and under and red goes down we lose five on a four you'll love to see it but that will do and they have of course the bot had a set absolutely absolutely i think that's fine all right, do we have enough to kill green? I want to say yes. We're going to say yes. Four, five, six. We're going to get a little bit risky for the bisky. And that is just enough. And now we are looking phenomenal. Green goes down, we set, and now we finish off the job. Also had a set on three. Do bots always set on three? Oh my god. 10, 11, 12. 
give it to me. I'm actually, I can just put it all there actually. All right, lose four, six for closure. Nine comes, I could have rolled the three there. We're good to go, GG boys. And guess what? Black had a set on three. All bots had a set on three. It's so stupid. It is so stupid, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, another dub for the channel. And Blue was a beginner. Shout out to the kid. We get back to Grandmaster. Fantastic. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.